Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tyler. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today, we are talking about OnlyFans. But first, I just want to make a little announcement. Um, you might hear my fans in this video. I have to have my AC up real high because it's really freaking hot. I'm sweating. My hair's a mess. But we're going to try to ignore that the best that you can. Please. Thank you. Um, anyways, I made a little poll on my community tab. Make sure you keep track of that because I'm making polls there more often. Because I think it's kind of fun. I made a poll asking what video y'all wanted to see and y'all picked this and I think it was something about customers. We're talking about OnlyFans. Bro, somebody commented on that post. They were like, I didn't know you did OnlyFans. Yeah. I thought I made that like really apparent on my channel because I've talked about it a lot. I have videos talking about it. Basically a little backstory. I started OnlyFans when I was 18. Like I just turned 18 in August and then I started it in August so I started it like right when I turned 18 which I don't agree with at all I don't think you should be able to just make an account right when you hit 18 but maybe I'm a hater I don't know um but basically this video I'm going to talk about if I regret starting an OF if I don't regret it if I'm like perfectly fine with it and kind of like my final thoughts obviously I'll have more thoughts as I get older and gain more knowledge but right now I just want to share my little experience little backstory kind of what I went through um yeah also peep the shirt if you know what this is from I love you if you don't ignore any of that yeah as I said I started um when I was 18 I stopped like right after I turned 19 because I got into a relationship a serious relationship which I'm still in um but yeah I stopped I stopped doing that and it's not because of him like I just want to make that clear because I feel like some people they will be on OF and then they get shamed by their partner to get off of it like I made a choice to get off of it um but being in a relationship was like the main reason why I officially like stopped it and quit I had a lot of experiences that made me upset but I had a, a lot of experiences where I was like super happy and like living my life. I learned so much from doing OF because you have to market yourself. Like you're, you're a salesman and you're selling, I don't want to say you're selling yourself cause you're not. Um, a lot of people like to make the thing with like sex workers. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. SWs, we're going to say SWs for S workers, which includes anything from like porn to just pictures or like just a chat person it includes so many things so um yeah you have to become a salesman for yourself or your services you know so you have to advertise you have to promote I was doing that all day I learned a lot about promoting and being active on social media I was on social media every freaking day I was posting like big advertisements obviously it's not like an advertisement like it goes out to everybody it goes out to my followers and people that are searching for that kind of content um but yeah girl I was posting all all the time all the time I was so active on social media and it killed my brain I'm gonna be honest with you it killed my brain this is one thing that I really 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 regret about doing OF is that I put so much freaking time into social media and like melting my brain away and not learning anything about anything else like I was just focusing on social media and that includes YouTube just for like this channel I was really into like filming and editing and all of that during that time um because I was not in school and I was not working <laughs> so all of my time went into OF and this which is all social media related all of that I did make a lot of friends which is nice I also made a lot of really bad relationships I dated this girl on I met her on Instagram I think oh my god girl she was sweet but she cheated on me and she was a little manipulative and cuckoo um but that that was a thing I also met a ton of other people that I got in like relationships relationships I mean like situationship with like online that was interesting I learned a lot about people and their ways and all of that um but now specifically getting into OF like 
not regarding Twitter or Instagram or any of that that you have to like promote on. This is just OF. Girl, that is work. I know people are like, you don't have to work like when you do OF because you just, you just like post pictures. Like you just take pictures every day. It's fine. Dude, I did like photo shoots for myself in my room. Keep in mind, I'm living with my parents. I just have my bedroom. I'm broke. You know, I just turned 18. I work at Walmart once a week. I'm broke. I'm dead broke. So <laughs> I don't have anything fancy to work with. I don't have any like camera equipment or any of that. I don't have somebody taking the photos for me. It's me. It's me, myself, and I. So I would do photo shoots every day. Every day. You can't slack on it. You can't slack on it because if you slack on it, it what if you miss a day? If you miss a day, people are going to be upset. Obviously, people have different schedules. For me, I posted every day. Um, that's just what I did. That was too much, but that's what I did. Some people do every week. Some people do, like, every other day. Some people do, like, three times a week. Obviously, it's different for everybody. But, girl, when I tell you I was doing photo shoots, I know that sounds stupid to most people that don't do anything on social media. It's like, you do YouTube. You just sit there and film for 20 minutes. It's super easy. It can be, but you're not really taking into account, like, you have to advertise, you have to put the stuff out, you have to schedule it, you have to edit it, you have to sit and look at your photos, which caused a lot of issues for me mentally. I have body, ugh, I have body dysmorphia. So sitting and looking at these pictures and being like, which one would be more attractive? I'm like picking out all of these things like, ew, like that stretch mark looks a little weird there. Ew, like my chest doesn't look good there. Ew, like ew, my hips and my stomach. You know, like, you just, you're sitting there picking out everything because you have to post this for somebody to see in a sexual manner. So it has to be attractive. That's just how it is. Or people are not going to like it. People aren't going to tip you. People aren't going to pay you. So it was a lot of looking at myself and trying to pick out the best angles, trying to pick out the best lighting. And when I first started, I didn't really care. Like, I was just kind of posting whatever. Um, but then as I got further into it, as I got thousands of followers on Twitter, it's like, I I can't compete with these other people that have, like, photo shoots and, like, backdrops and props and stuff. Like, I can't compete with that. So, I just got really in my head. And I'm like, I have to buy this lingerie. Of course, it was really cheap. It was from Shein. That's what most people were doing back then anyways because it was covid people were kind of broke <laughs> and there's not really many places that you can get lingerie for cheap anymore so that was that um as I was saying I was very insecure about myself I still am I have a lot of issues um I also got a lot of comments I never got mean comments on OF directly because it's people they're obviously they're paying to see me they're paying so they like what they see. That's fine. I've never had any rude comments on OF. Never in my life. I've had people disrespect me and treat me like kind of an object or whatever. But I can talk about that later. Um, but on Twitter, I got a lot of mean comments because I am... I'm slender. I don't have a chest. I don't really have hips either. So I'm not you know the standard nowadays the standard is like curvy like big chest big butt big hips I don't have that but that's fine I did however get a lot of comments that were really mean and that affected me but what comes with that comes to really nice comments I had so many it was exponentially more nice comments than I ever had mean comments especially directly on OF because people were so kind they pay to see you they pay to see you they pay they'll buy customs from you I had a lot of custom pictures custom videos all of that and they freaking love it they eat that they eat it up man they like the customs because it feels special to them you know so that's that um a lot of lovely people I really like that but I could speak more in depth about like literally all of this but that'll have to be a separate video because I, I just have so much to say um anyways I want to talk about this because this is my main this is my second main regret actually this is my first main regret is that I started it when I was 18 that was insane 
that was actually insane because I didn't I didn't think like this is gonna affect my life you know back in 2020 I think that's when I started my oath it was 2020 or 2021 I think it was 2021 in August don't know I was 18 I didn't know what I was doing OF was blowing up like you know everybody and their mom was literally everybody and their mom was on OF so I was like girl I'm trying to make money I'm broke I just got out of high school I'm not in college I don't have a job I just work at Walmart you know like whatever <laughs> so I started it I didn't really think hey this could affect me long term not only mentally but also like finding a job in the future I don't know if it really matters I don't know if somebody would ever deny me a job because I did OF unless it was like a, a super top secret amazing job not that I'm looking for that I don't think I'm that cool but um I didn't think about that and I think that's really important is girl this is a lifetime decision this is a decision that's gonna affect your life and not only that it's those pictures are out there forever like I posted public photos on Twitter on Instagram those are literally always going to be there and I'm sure people still have my OF photos because people store photos even though that's not allowed don't do that don't do that people do it so that's the thing I could have those photos show up one day do I care personally no like I'm not embarrassed about my body do I have things that I want to change of course but I don't mind that much um but it's definitely a thought like somebody has those photos of me when I was freshly 18 years old you know it's a little icky a little weird and I didn't even start doing nude pictures until like months later so I went months with just doing like clothed lingerie photos that type of thing but oh man that that scares me that people have that information and the access to that and I don't know I don't know people can find you man people can find you it's scary it's a little scary but all in all do I regret doing OnlyFans I don't know I don't know to be honest because I made money I bought my car I bought this phone actually I didn't buy this phone I bought the phone before that strictly on OF money besides the car the car was a dual effort of my work and my OF but a lot of the OF money went towards my phone and my car and I bought a ton of freaking lingerie that I will never wear in my life again. But I made I made money. I learned. I made some friends. Have I ever talked to them again? No. <laughs> but you know, I learned. I made I made friends who I don't even speak to anymore, but that's okay. Love them. Love them though. Don't know where they're at, but yeah. Interesting learn to market myself I learned to kind of watch how I talk online because I was really loud mouth when I started um, being on social media because I didn't care and I still don't care to an extent what people think but I am a lot more careful to say things that won't get me like thrown out in the dumpster um, because I'm not well educated enough to speak on a certain topic I usually try to avoid speaking on something if I don't know about it I don't know I learned that I learned that the hard way because let me give you a little story and then I'll end this video um this is relating to that by the way so think before you speak or address the situation before you post online little old me um I was talking to this guy we were in a relationship um I think I actually talked about this before, but anyways, we were in a relationship, like a committed relationship online. It's not like an in-person, we're together together, but we were in a relationship and um, I didn't want to be in a relationship. I wanted to be like friends with benefits because I was, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, it's, I don't know, girl, <laughs> I don't know, but I didn't want a relationship, but he convinced me to, so I'm like, okay, fine, we can be in a relationship. Um... And we were talking and he 
was talking to this other girl behind my back and she was liking his pictures and she was flirting with him and I posted on my Twitter like something about this girl wanting my man and it was salty I was like this girl thinks she can have my man and that's all I posted I didn't follow her I never interacted with her tweets or anything um but she saw it I don't know how but she saw it um she dm'd me she was like girl what the fuck is wrong with you um your man is cheating on you basically and she sent me screenshots of him telling her that I'm a psycho um controlling person that I wouldn't let him speak to any other girl meanwhile I don't even want to be in a new relationship with him but you know I feel so bad because I posted that on my freaking twitter I'm like this girl wants my man no she really didn't she had screenshots of her like not really being interested in him and he was so obsessed with her so that's why we we think before we speak if we can sometimes you know you just get a little impulsive and things happen but try to think love that major lesson I learned <laughs> um yeah that's it I could talk about more things if y'all want I could do a million videos on like every topic because I could just ramble on forever literally but that's it I'm gonna go see you next next week see you next video I think that makes more sense because I don't I don't know my schedule anymore I don't know anyways bye bye